This is Paul Turner, the Immigration Barrister at Imperium Chambers. If you've got an immigration problem, get in touch with me and I'll do my best to help you. Today I'm going to be talking about the Home Office and the new Secretary of State um, and the continued failures um, despite there being a new uh, head at the top of the, Secretary, uh, of the Home Department. It seems that while we've had a change of government and a new Prime Minister who seems to have set out her policies quite clearly, the Secretary of State uh, seems to be continuing with the failed policies of Priti Patel, um, uh, one might think that with a new government we might get a reset on, on the immigration system given how broken it is, or at least an overhaul or a, a look at it again. However, nothing uh, uh, appears could be further from the truth. So Ella Bradman has decided that the best way to show vulnerable victims of war, torture and human rights abuses, the greatness of our nation, nation has been to issue them with uh, no legal letters of attempt uh, uh, saying that they're going to be removed to Rwanda. Claire Mosley, uh, 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 founder of uh, Korea for Calais, uh, an NGO, noted, these notices are causing alarm and distress among those who receive them. Many of whom we work with were in touch to pass on their condolences uh, to the United Kingdom for the passing of the Queen. It is unreasonably abhorrent that some of the received Rwanda notices were received over the mourning period. Bradman has not yet signalled a departure from the plan spearheaded by her predecessor, despite the pressing concerns regarding its legality, effectiveness and cost. Hardly what you would expect from a barrister. After all, we as lawyers are supposed to uphold the law, not break it or plan to break it. This follows on from an aborted attempt, as we know, to force dinghies to return to France, as a failure to even have the slightest impact on, which has had the slightest impact on uh, channel crossings uh, by the ramping up of uh, the naval patrols. In fact, far more people are arriving than they have before. It is clear nothing has changed. It is, is evident from a report from Your Majesty's Inspectorate of Prisons, which found that Brook House, which is a detention centre, has a prison-like feel, and the increased number of detainees meant that the centre was noisy and crowded, with limited outdoor space. Some detainees were held for an acceptably long period of time, including one who had been in the centre for 16 months. Many of my clients are able to corroborate the sentiment of the report, um, and it serves to add the catalogue of failures that are uh, continuing to grow um, in the Home Office. Uh, and as I say, one might have thought that, that Suella Braveman, being a lawyer, having taken over the Home Office, might have actually stepped back for a second and thought, well, is this all working? Mm, no. What can I do about it? Mm, maybe start again or, or put in a plan to consult? No. She seems to be carrying on uh, with Pretty Patel's policies. One might be generous and might say that it's still early days and we ought to wait before uh, 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 casting judgment. Um, however, uh, in the short time period that she's taken office, it seems more and more like Suella uh, Bravman is turning out to be um, Pretty Patel's uh, big and ugly sister, uh, if that was even possible. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, I hope that there is a review. I hope that sense, uh, common sense prevails. There clearly is a tension between Suella Bravman and the right-wing rhetoric uh, and the noises coming from the Prime Minister, which recognises the fact that we do actually need more immigration. Only time will tell, and if you watch my channel, you will be kept up to date with the news. Thank you again for watching. Please stay safe. This is Paul Turner, the Immigration Barrister at Imperium Chambers.